Hey Crafty Friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am going to be doing my uh, junk journal video for my Cheaply Chic's collection, um, Counting Your Blessings. And for this journal, I'm going to be doing something similar that I did in my Wings journal. So this is the Wings journal. This is also from Cheaply Chic. And what I did with this one is I created a bunch of kind of like little, I called them like um, portfolios. So they kind of have like different little, this one, you open it and it like opens up all the way and like has pockets in it and then it just closes back up again. Um, and then I've got this one that kind of folds out like this. And then we've got this one up here that's kind of like a trifold thing. And then this one has a, a magnet closure on it. And when you open it, it's got pockets and little pockets over here on the side. So I decided that I want to kind of do something similar. This one I had a little one of these things and it folds out. So I wanted to do something similar for this one. So um, if you want to know everything that's in her collection, um, her the channel link is down below in my description box if you want to know everything that's in the collection. So this one's kind of more of like an antique -y kind of floral print. Um, and so what I, what I need to do first is kind of decide like where I'm going to be using the different like what I'm going to be kind of putting together as part of the like portfolio. Um, so I actually am doing a linen journal. Um, and so I actually am going to tear, take this out because I'm going to, I'm going to use this in my lemon journal. <laughs> um, so I think that yellow piece would look really good with that. So I'm going to take that out. Okay, so I think I like the idea of doing this because then I can do like two different pockets um, and then try to maybe do a closure. So I'm just going to take some paper clips and kind of paper clip the different things together. So let's see, this one, this one would be good, but then the little pocket thing is kind of an awkward space. So I think I'll do all of these together. Um, do all of this together. So I'm just going to go through and kind of figure out what I want to do. I like this as like the closure. I can make this like the closure for one. Um, I can like fold it the other way. Maybe. Fold it the other way and use it this way. Yeah, I'm gonna use it this way. So then this will be one. Um, okay, yeah, that works, I think. I'll just figure that out. And then I can use this as kind of cover for that. So I'll make this one and this one. So then I'll have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven little like pockety things. So you'll see, you can kind of see, I'm gonna put all of those together. So I, I looked in this book because I was like, how do they even do that? <laughs> so um, I do, so this one I use kind of like a flap over the edge. This one I just um, tied together. This one again, I used one of the flaps. Um, then I did the magnet closure. This one I just folded. This one I paper clipped. This one had a big, huge envelope in it, so um, I had to paper clip that one. And then this one had the magnet. I don't think I have any magnets left. Um, and that one I did that. So I think this one is just a pocket, apparently. I just made this little pocket at the bottom at the end. Okay, so I feel like let's just kind of figure out. I like the idea of putting these together because then I can kind of do like two different pockets, but I don't want it. I still want it to have like a closure. So I think what I'm going to do is take one of these pieces of paper that's in the collection and um, I really like this piece of paper but I feel like I think it's it'll make a cool like closure for one of them so I definitely want to try to incorporate that so let's see I also really like this piece of paper um, that came in the collection. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, maybe I can use this index piece of paper. Just fold that over. Yeah, okay. So the, I think I'm going to do that. So I think I'm going to make this like a little side pocket. Let's see where I want this to be. Let's see what's this got dogs. Ditto. So if I fold it over, I think I want this raw edge on the on this side, like as a fold over. I think I like that idea of having that raw edge on there. So I'm gonna put this side over here and then make it a little pocket. Um, so I wanna, I'm gonna cut that pencil part. Cut from here to here. Okay, so I got that trimmed down. So I'm gonna glue this on here like this. I think before I do that though, I wanna ink this up a little bit. So I have to, uh, to admit, it's been a minute since I've done stuff. I've actually did stuff in the um, in the last collection that she did, I did a little bit of stuff in that one, but I didn't post it. Um, so I think I'll just probably post it at the same time I'm posting this one. Um, I just didn't get around to actually editing and I think I had to do a voiceover for that one. So I will try to get that out as, as well as this one, but I'm just gonna dirty this up a little bit. Crinkle it too. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this one on as a pocket, but I do not want to lose that raw edge, so I want to make sure I fold it over. Okay, yeah, I think that's good. So then let's go ahead and, oh, I need new glue. My glue is very, 
very gluey right now. Probably need to put some acetone in it. Okay, so that's down. And then for this, gonna have this be loose inside there but I think I might have to okay so that part would be just like this I think I'll probably make this a pocket but then just leave this kind of in here like it's a piece of paper within the little portfolio so let's just go ahead and glue this down I think I'm gonna need to trim this just a tad bit Okay, and then might as well do this one too. on. Oh, my glue is so thick. <sighs> I couldn't find my acetone. I know I have some too. I just seen it the other day. I don't know what the heck I did with it. Okay, so then I'll make like a little tag or something to go in here. She has so many different things I could use. Okay, use a slow layaway tag in there. Um, of course, I'll decorate a little bit more, but I'll just put that in there for now. And then that will just flap over. And then I'll decorate the front. Um, definitely want to put that on the front. I like this too. She like added like this little black envelope thing. Definitely want to try to incorporate that. Okay, so that one is done. Let's see. I kind of like the idea of using the envelope as the as the flap. Literally just gluing this whole thing on to this. This way or this way? I don't know why I like it this way. Because I like that page. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. I'm literally just going to glue. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to glue this. And it kind of takes away from the whole fact that it's an envelope. this little scraper tool at Dollar Tree. Maybe if I open this up. Okay, so basically I've been staring at this thing for 15 minutes. Um, so I basically deconstructed the whole envelope. I just undid the little flaps. And then what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically turn it almost inside out. I'm gonna use this flap for the closure and this is going to get glued down and then I'll have a little pocket right here. So I think the first thing I need to do is glue down the pocket. Just trace it around. Where the glue should go. This will go in here like that. So we'll just glue this entire thing down. Oh. Maybe I'll just get a top loading pocket. 
Okay, come on, glue. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, glue. You can do it. We have faith in you. Okay. Let me put this. And then that will hold that open and then Okay, so if I put this little card here, I feel like it'll hold a little flappy part. Maybe, potentially. Why do I keep? Oh, it's literally right in front of me. Okay, so I'm gonna just draw around this. Put glue on literally all the other parts. Okay, so I feel like that's going to work. Put the little tag there and then maybe put I like that one. Let's put this here. Let's cut this. ahead and stop. I'm going to work on the rest of them, um, but you kind of get the general gist and the idea of kind of what I'm doing. And then I'll work on the rest of them and then I will um, I'll, I'll come back and show you kind of the final thing. All right, well, I was able to get some work done in the Count Your Blessings journal. Um, I kind of showed you a little bit about what I was planning on doing with this journal and I finished up. I probably will do a little bit more decorating on it later, but I wanted to at least show you a flip through of what I've um, gotten done. So I did the little pocket, had a little collage moment here. Um, did a little collaging on the front here with some flowers. This was one of the pieces that came in the journal kit. Um, the collection and then when you open this it opens up to little pockets here for each of these things this is just something I had in my stash that I thought went well with it I did include a little lace trim at the top of it so it's kind of poking out of the top and these were the pages that were in the journal and I just glued them down added some um, stickers and one of the little punches that came from the collection another little punch that came from the collection. This was the envelope. I think I recorded this part 
um, so then this just tucks in to kind of keep it keep it down. I think I'll probably try to cover this up a little bit, maybe put flowers on there or something. So this opens up and this was a little piece that was in the journal. I just glued it down, made it a double pocket type thing. This was just a little scrap piece of paper from the collection. And then this was just a little card that I had in my stash. That I thought looked cute there. And so I'll probably do a little bit more decorating on this page, but that's what it looks like for now. And then this is part of the same little portfolio. Um, so it's got three pages in it. So this piece um, was part, these two pieces are part of the collection or part of the book. So I just glued them down. So this one I made, I kind of just glued like around the edges. And so I made this little side pocket. And then this was the little tab that came, or tag that came into the collection. And I need to like tie this because it keeps coming loose. All right, so then this, and then I just added this little punch from the collection. Um, I just punched a hole and then added a little um, hole reinforcer on there so that when it sticks into the pocket, it kind of has that little piece hanging out of it. And then I did a little um, bottom load pocket here so and it just has wildflowers and wheats so I just took a piece this was from the collection this piece so I just ripped off a little piece of that and then I had this little cut apart from my collection and this little um, this is from my stash and this little uh, stickers from my stash as well um did a little collaging this I didn't really do much to this tag so just put a little fiber on it and inked it up so that just slides into that pocket so this is all kind of one thing and it just closes up and then for this other side so this is the other side of the envelope I glued it on here I made it a little pocket here and then I, I made this little journaling card from the this was a piece from the collection I added some lace trim here um, and just some a little quote there a little quote sticker and then I made these little side pockets. Um, I think these are just tags from my stash, um, but I have those there. So I think I got these at the Dollar Tree actually, <laughs> these little tags. And I left the black with the black writing on the page. And then this one actually um, opens up with this little string. And so what I did basically what I did, this is the middle section of the book and I um, tore a little piece off of that and then glued this to the other side and just made this a long uh, pocket and then this was just something I had in my stash and I just included another little piece that I had in my stash and then this was another little piece that I had in my stash <laughs> and then um, I'll tie that back up in a second did some collage collaging here and down here um, and I added the clip that came in the collection and I added this little doily thing I think this came from my stash I don't know I don't think this was in the collection and then a little charm little heart charm that has the word blessed on the little charm so and it just kind of hangs out on the book so it kind of dangles off the book when it's in there. And this is holding up, holding this little portfolio together. So I really liked the black little envelope with the black uh, letters and stuff. And I loved this piece too. I felt like it matched really well. So I just have this kind of stuck in there. Um, Cause I wanted this to be like an actual envelope. I didn't want to glue it down. So I wanted to be able to have it be an actual envelope. And then I added just a little die cut piece here and a little word happiness. I tore off this piece. This is just, this is attached to the book. Made little pockets here and just added some tags and a little journaling cards, things like that. And then um, this, so that's all part of this little portfolio. And it gets glued down. 
that gets closed up with a little clip. And then this um, little pocket tag, I just added this little tag and with a little, uh, um, what are these called? Garment pins, I think. I think that's what they're called. So that just hangs out there. Added some lace and a little uh, card that I had for my stash. Um, and this is a, the tag from the collection. I just added this little piece, um, this little die cut that I had in my stash and added some fibers to the top. Um, and so what I did was I took the book page. So this is actually a page in the book, this little, um, what is this? Like a little dictionary page that's part of the book. And this is actually part of the book too. And I glued those two together. At least I thought I did. Apparently I didn't do a very good job. Here, let's glue that down a little bit more. <laughs> so I just glued these two pages together um, and made it like a little half pocket. And then I glued this piece to the edge of the, of the um, dictionary page. And then I added a little um, collage piece here, and that just flips over and little closes those two together. And then for this one, it just used a little paper clip with a little bit of fiber on the on the outside of it. Did a little collaging, and then this just folds over. And this is the little pocket here, and then that just folds over, and then closes up like that and then I included the count your blessings um, little thing that she includes so you can actually fold that out and, and read it still and then I just paper clipped it just to keep it just to keep it together so that is my count your blessings journal I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I will see you again real soon bye for now